Hi there and welcome to Planet Coaster. For today's build, I've been working on the pirate dock section of the park. I started working on a new restaurant, a pirate bar and grill, which I've built up to look like an old public alehouse. I didn't record all of this build as it was quite fiddly and I didn't always know where I wanted to go with it. For example, uh, when I started building the pub, I spent a lot of time trying to get the roofing to work the way I wanted it to. Every type of roof I was using looked too clean and sharp. I wanted to convey a very old building like the 17th century pubs you get here in the UK. All the roofing pieces in Planet Coaster are too uniform, so I ended up just making my own custom roofing. That took a long time to figure out to make it look old but realistic. I ended up using wooden brackets that I've turned upside down and laid them out like roof tiles. To make the building look old, I've used rough brick coloured like stone for the first floor. Then the upper floors I've used a stucco wall in a very natural colour with wood boards as a divide. This mimics the traditional line rendering of Tudor houses pretty well. So I wanted to make a pub sign like you see for real old pubs. I was curious about these signs and actually looked them up. Apparently King Richard II ordered landlords selling alcohol to erect signs outside their pubs. This was to make alehouses more visible to passing inspectors. The colourful paintings of these signs apparently came about because during the Middle Ages, well, you know, a large proportion of the population would have been illiterate, so pictures were more useful than words to identify a public house. I guess that kind of makes sense. I decided to call this establishment the Crow's Nest, which I think fits in well with the theming of the pirate dock. So the picture I've hung outside is indeed a rather elaborate picture of a ship's crow's nest. Unfortunately, when you import pictures into Planet Coaster for custom signs, it tends to up the brightness to maximum, so they don't really show up that well, unfortunately. You'll have to take it from me that it is definitely a very nice picture. To finish the pub, I added the in-game pirate benches and parasols at the back. That gave it kind of a sense of a traditional pub that's been dressed up a little to fit in with the theme park scenery. So to drive traffic through the pirate docks, I rerouted the pirate ship ride exit to take guests right through to the docks rather than directly back to the monorail station. I'm hoping this might actually lessen the footfall for that monorail station. It's been attracting crowds and the queue is ridiculously long. Now guests are forced through the docks where the path leads out closer to the go-kart track and some of the other rides. I think it actually makes sense here to have guests pass through the amenities area right after getting off the ride. I find in game it doesn't matter how long they've had to queue, at least 20% of the guests always need the bathroom straight after disembarking. Having them right outside helps my theming but it's also convenient for the guests. This part of the docks, I wanted all the buildings to connect to each other so I've squished them all up like you'd find in a Tudor town. This is handy since the pirate ship ride queue is right behind here, so there was some fiddling to get it all to fit in. Hopefully this is also helping with the ride queue prestige, since this should have upped the queue theming quite a bit. To piece all this together, I've made this little bridge that connects the buildings with the path underneath. I saw a scale model for an old style covered bridge on Pinterest, which looked really good, so I've taken that as inspiration for this covered walkway here, and I think it looks really great. I thought it'd be fun to put in a load of lookout points on the buildings, so I've added this five story tower with some balconies overlooking the docks. I built something similar to this for the pirate themed monorail station, only that was much taller since it's attached to a castle. The balconies are made from the ready to use balcony pieces in the scenery tab. It would be nice if they were in the buildings tab and used a grid to place. I cut most of the balcony building out of the video because it's like 40 minutes of me fiddling around with the pieces to get them to connect up properly. To be honest, what I'd like to see in Planet Coaster would be an option to turn the grid on or off for placing every piece in the game. Sometimes I want to use a building piece, but then I have to make every section a separate building because it's tied to the grid. But then like with these balconies, there's some pieces not tied to the grid that would definitely benefit from it. So, future plans for this park and this area in particular. I've left space to the right of the docks for a new ride. We have the Classic Rides DLC landing this week and I'm keen to see if there's a flat ride in the pack that I can squeeze into that area. It's a bit of a challenge to dress the flat rides up in a pirate theme. 
I've already used Roctopus, the whirly rig and um, yeah, the pirate boat. So a nice customizable ride that isn't already heavily themed would be appreciated. So that's where I've got up to with this area for now. I've let the Pirate King loose on the docks, so let's see how many patrons he scares away. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments, and if you want to check it out for yourself, I've uploaded the whole build onto the Steam Workshop. There's a link to that in the description below. My plan going forward is to work on a new coaster, hopefully using the new Classic Rides DLC, so my next build should be out later in the week. So thank you for watching, bye for now.